Hello everyone and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Reacting to Bobby and Paulina's medical outcome, Stephanie handles two captives. According to the Monday, February 19th, spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Kayla Johnson will be searching for Trip Johnson at the hospital, where he was meant to begin working following the geocaching event. Kayla will be surprised and disturbed to learn that Trip will not be attending. Since Trip rarely skips a shift, Kayla might be upset about this. Regretfully, Officer Goldman tricked Trip and Wendy Shin, leading them away while seeming to be escorting them to safety. Officer Goldman appears to be carrying out Ray Fernandez's orders, but Wendy and Tripp will soon discover they were duped by a mole in the Salem Police Department. According to Day's teasers, Tripp and Wendy will be detained, meaning they will be confined to one another until Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, eventually finds out Tripp is missing and brings charges against Clyde Weston, James Reed. In addition, Constantine Melionis will persist in being an absolute rascal, taking advantage of Maggie Kiriaki's weakness to entice her closer with a unique Valentine's Day experience. Day spoilers indicate that Paulina Price will feel relieved to be back in the hospital following her operation on Monday's DOL episode, especially since she will have her loved ones by her side once more. After Paulina's ostensibly successful treatment, Abe Carver, James Reynolds, Chanel Dupree, and Johnny DeMera will assemble, but we have a sneaking suspicion that Paulina would pressure the newlyweds to celebrate at home. According to previews for other days, Jada Hunter will speak harshly to Everett Lynch after realizing he is her ex-husband Bobby Stein. Everett will declare he's never seen Jada before and most definitely never got married to her after he disputes that he has no idea who that is. Bobby's deceitful behavior will be met with retaliation from Jada, who won't allow him to use Stephanie Johnson as his next victim. When Stephanie's boyfriend and best friend tell her different things, she won't know what to believe, but she will undoubtedly concede that Bobby's phone photo from Jada looks exactly like Everett. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Jada is about to give Everett a real hard time. Follow us for more on her outburst and any impending Bobby shockers. Is Bobby Stein Everett's unknown twin, according to Jake and Stefan Redux? Rumors and spoilers for Days of Our Lives suggest that there must be a rational explanation for why Everett Lynch resembles Bobby Stein. Could Everett and Bobby's birth certificates listing single births be similar to Stefan and Jake D. Maris, who were separated at birth and had separate birth certificates in Salem in the past? Was the adoption of the two twins prenatal? Both Stefan and Jake were later adopted, Stefan was raised in an orphanage and didn't learn of Jake's existence until after his passing, not even their mother was aware of it. The boys were kept apart by Vivian Alamain's manservant, and neither of them recognized their mother until they were adults. Vivian wasn't particularly content with Ivan Murray. It appears that Stephanie Johnson, Everett, Jada, and Bobby all resided in Seattle about the same time, however, Seattle is a large metropolis, not a small village like Salem. Given that Jada is now a detective and that her picture depicts her as a beat officer, it's possible that she dated Bobby and got married before Everett and Stephanie were engaged. Stephanie, Jada, and Everett all demand explanations after the major incident at Brady's pub when Jada saw Everett and mistook him for Bobby. Even though Jada said that Everett was lying, it's possible that he wasn't, similar to Stefan, he might have been split from an identical twin at birth. Steve Johnson believes he has demonstrated Bobby Stein is Everett Lynch. Even though Everett and Jada both arrived in Salem, Seattle is a large city that makes it unlikely that they would have met paths if they had all continued to live there. Stephanie returned because Salem is her hometown, and Steve Johnson looks into the matter when she tells her parents about it. He discovers a copy of Bobby's birth certificate, which has his fingerprints and footprints and reads single birth. Since Everett's fingerprints match Bobby's, he breaks the bad news to her, Everett is Bobby. However, Steve ignores the obvious possibility that Bobby and Everett were separated at birth, just like Stefan and Jake were. With identical twins, their DNA and fingerprints would be identical, proving Everett is telling the truth even if he were able to collect DNA. The most devoted step-parents in soap operas are these. Various tropes are frequently employed by soap operas to describe their everyday stories. Soap Hub investigates them and how they are used in our Soap Tropes series. Alina Adams, a New York Times best-selling author, explores in the third episode how much step-parents love their stepchildren even after the birth parent's marriage ends. 
This week on The Young and the Restless, Chance and Summer talked about raising children among other things. Summer mentioned how difficult it is to convince Harrison to wash his teeth. Chance related a tale about Dominic becoming upset when Chance refused to get him a drum set. The fact that the toddlers in question weren't really their kids wasn't brought up by either of them. Chance was initially meant to be Dom's only parent, but he is at least his legal father. Even Summer is no longer Harrison's stepmother. However, they are not the only people in soap opera land who love their adopted children just as much, if not more, than their biological offspring. Neil was another character on YNR who supported Lily beyond the revelation of her true parentage and loved her even more than his real biological child, Moses. Neil even moved to be near Lily when she was incarcerated. Here are a couple more of our favorite daytime stepparents who like their adopted children even more than their own offspring. It wasn't until Ridge was an adult on The Bold and the Beautiful that Eric realized he wasn't biologically his. Additionally, they had already sparred over Brooke. Eric chose to disregard it and continue to care for Ridge as his own. Even during their arguments about Quinn, Rena Sofer. The most compassionate non-dad ever is Eric. Swinging on a meat hook, Sonny coerced AJ into signing away his parental rights because he was so intent on being Michael's father. Of course, Sonny's happiness has diminished. And no matter how many kids, mainly daughters, black, Sonny has with other people, Michael will always be his favorite. However, it remains to be seen if he would extend the same forgiveness to Eric when it becomes clear that Michael hired Dex to undermine Daddy. On Days of Our Lives, Marlena not only loved and nurtured Brady as her own when she married John, but she also raised Carrie, Sammy, and Eric as a single parent for all those years when Marlena was thought to be dead and John believed he was Roman. John respected Roman's position but continued to think of Roman's children as his own even after the truth was revealed and Roman came back. Furthermore, he tolerates absurdities from Sammy that we doubt he would ever put up with from Brady or Belle, Martha Madison. Stephanie looks stunned as the Hortons reminisce. A sign from heaven above? Following the Horton house fire, Doug and Julie Williams, along with Maggie Horton Kiriakis and Chad DiMera, are still in shock. Marlena Evans provides them with consolation and support as they assemble at the wreckage to go through what's left and see what they can rescue. As we see flashbacks of Tom Horton, Sidney K. Smith, and Alice Horton, Sidney K. Smith, before they purchased the home their family ended up living in for generations, we will also see two very familiar people looking very different and younger. Is the extremely special gift Doug and Julie receive from her grandparents in heaven, and does it have anything to do with Christmas and ornaments? Stephanie Johnson, Abigail Klein, takes Everett Lynch's side because she is determined to trust him this time around when Jada Hunter alleges that Everett Lynch is actually her ex-husband Bobby. Everett claims he has never seen her before in his life. Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, has the task of persuading his daughter that Bobby and Everett are identical. He even believes he has proof, but is it true? Even if they are not the same person at all, there is still intrigue. In the end, who is correct?